Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. The other day I had a fellow call me about the RB340 uh, voltage regulator that's used on the MGB from 1962 through 1967. So I, I'm going to just pop the top off this and talk about it, how it works just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, prior to this, there's a two bobbin, this is a three bobbin, there's a two bobbin regulator correctly called um, a control box because it has not only the voltage regulator but the cutout. The cutout comes first, then the voltage regulator, and finally in the RB340, a current regulator so you don't burn out the inside of your generator. So anyway, this, this guy is, uh, he's, he's pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good unit, you know. They last a long time. The original ones, which this one is, says Lucas, not that that is an indicator that it's original, but not only is this Lucas, but it has, has the uh, manufacturing stamp right here, which you can see um, we've got 685. So this is 12 volt, made the sixth month of 1985. So let's pop this guy apart. Uh, we'll push, push the pins out. Can't remember which way the pins go. I'm gonna push the pins out. There we go. There's one pin. I know the more modern ones have got Phillips screws in these locations. So here we've got the cover that comes off. It's got a nice rubber seal on the bottom of it to either keep the moisture out or if it gets wet, unfortunately, keep the moisture in. And here's the inside of our, of our um, unit. It's got three individual bobbins. So we've got here, this is, the, this is the cutout on this end. This is the current regulator. And this is the voltage regulator. This is adjusted by, well, the old ones had a nice little cam wheel in here and I was all set to show how my, <laughs> my original Lucas tool, you can put it in here and walk it back and forth, but this one takes a pair of snap ring pliers and then you can turn one of these wheels very, very carefully and change either the point at which it cuts in and cuts out, well actually cuts in, when it opens, uh, when, the, when the voltage opens um, so you don't overcharge your generator and <laughs> and this one is at, at what rate it's charging, um, which is usually if you're checking the whole system at 1500 RPM with the headlights on, it should be around 14 volts. They, they stabilize around 14 volts. Anyway, I just wanted to show the inside of this, uh, just make it so it isn't quite so mysterious. Um, a lot of uh, wiring is done on the bottom too, uh, also. Um, we have the resistor uh, that goes between D and F, so the points don't arc. And we've got the swamp, swamp resistors. What an exciting name. Swamp re resistors down, down here that, that uh, um, are hooked in series with the tiny windings that are on the, on the outside bobbins. So that's it. Enjoy your MG, drive your MG. Now, right now it's November. I think I may have driven my MG for about the last time this season, but I still have to change the oil, which is going to be another interesting video that Sarah is going to come up here and get her camera out and show me changing the oil in my own MGA, which is the first time in probably a couple of years. Shouldn't even say that. Anyway, till later. Safety fast.